Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got a fountain pen showdown for you. And I thought I'd do a showdown of two small pens. Maybe even you could say they're both pocket size pens. Although with this one, this is the Pilot Pereira. Not quite sure because it does seem a little bit bigger than the Caveco Sport that I'm comparing it against. Join me now down on the mat. We'll take a look at both these pens. We'll do some size comparisons. We'll do some writing samples. And then I'll give you my thoughts about these pens. Welcome down to the mat. So here we've got our two pens. We've got the Pilot Prera and we've got the Caveco Sport. Now, I'm not intending to have a detailed review of each of these in this video. It'd take too long. What I'm going to do is just look at general things. So we'll start with the size. I and mean, you can see here, we can see here the Caveco Sport when it's capped. An awful lot smaller, isn't it? The Caveco Sport, this is a pen. When I'm going out and about, I have that and I've got a little A6 notepad. They go in my cargo pants, trousers and they go everywhere with me. So I've always got a pen and paper if I need it. I may give that a go with the Prera once this has run out of ink, but I'm not sure because the Prera, as we see, is bigger. We'll do some other size comparisons shortly. The Prera, it's got a nice clip there. You can see the clip. Not, it's very, very stiff. I haven't used the clip very often. I'm not a clip person. I only really use it in my pen cases. The Sport doesn't come with a clip. You can buy an add-on, so you can get a little clip for it. I haven't bothered. Let's take the caps off and we'll look at the nibs. You know, this is the business end, isn't it? This is the bit which we're really interested in. So when I'm looking at the nibs, we'll start with the Kaveco. It's an old gold nib, fairly small. Both nibs are quite small, about the same size. On there, we've got a little bit of decorative scroll work. Got the Caveco logo. We've got beef abroad. Nothing exciting, really. If we look at the Pilot, again, nothing very exciting about it. It's a, it's a small nib. We've got Pilot, Super Quality, Japan, and then M. This is a medium nib, but it's a Japanese medium. So that's one thing to bear in mind. The other difference we can see, obviously, the Prera, the one I've got, is transparent. So we can actually see through and we can see the converter. I'm going to take this top off anyway. Same with the Caveco. Let's take off. Stop that from running away. It's trying to escape on me. Oh, I hope there's enough ink left in this Caveco to actually do my writing. Otherwise, I may need to do a quick refill. The Caveco there, I'm actually using the cartridge that I refill. This is the one that came with it. It had a blue ink in it. I hated that blue ink. I very quickly washed it out and then I filled it. In here, I generally have Colt Pens Deep Dark Green. The converter came also with the Pilot Pereira. This is a Com40. It's a standard Pilot converter. As you see, running low on ink on that one. Both of these pens can be eyedroppered. The problem that you've got, if you eyedropper the Caveco, you won't know what your ink level is. Whereas with this gorgeous transparent nature, yes, you would know what the ink level is in there because it's easy to see. With both of them, if I was going to eyedropper them, I would put silicon grease around the threads. Let's swap over the view and we'll look at some size comparisons. I've brought in the two standard pens. So we've got a Pilot Metropolitan and we've got a Lamy Safari. You know, look, we expect to see a difference, don't we? Let's take the caps off these. With the caps off, wow, look at how small those two pens are. They're pocket pens. The Sport, to me, all right for using one or two words, but other than that, too small to use and posted. The Pereira, a little bit better, but still, Again, if I wanted to do more than a couple of words, I'd have to post it. So let's post them. Posted, yeah, they're still a little bit on the short side, but they are nicer in the hand. There's Faker, that fits nicely. 
There's the pilot, again fits nicely. And if we look at them side by side in the tray, they're actually both the same length now. Whereas with that Metropolitan and the Lamy Safari, you get them lined up way bigger. Let's swap over and we'll look at some pens in very roughly the same price range. I'm only going to show these pens with a cap on. It's pointless looking at them any other because of the difference between the pocket pen and these standard pens. So the first comparison, we've got a Wingsun 699. That was 35 Aussie dollars. The Caveco Sport, 35 Aussie dollars. The Pilot Pereira, 70 Aussie dollars. That's right, 70. I can buy two sports for the price of one Pereira. And then I've also brought in a Twisby Diamond 580, 72 Australian dollars. So same price range as the Pereira. Very, very noticeable price ranges. Let's swap over and we'll fetch in the scales of weighing. Okay, let's do some quick weights. So the Sport, in total, 10 grams. That's the total weight for the pen. The body, 6 grams. The cap, 6 grams. How would you get 6 and 6 equals 10? Let's put it on there again. But that's what it does. So there must be just under 6 grams each. The Prera, oh, 16, 16 grams. The body, 8 grams and 8 grams for the cap and 8 and 8 that one does equal 16 remember both of these have got a little bit of ink in them so we're not talking heavy pens let's get this out of the way and fetch in the notepad of testing here we've got the notepad of testing this is Oxford optic paper it's a black and red notebook and it's A5 in size now I've just done a test on a piece of scrap paper because as we saw, there didn't seem to be much ink in the Caveco Sport and it's completely dry. Just like that. It's nothing left in. So what I'm going to do is I brought out the ink, which is deep dark green, and I'm just going to dip the nib in the ink and that'll give us a rough idea of what the pen like, writes like. And um, ideally, I would refill it, but I don't want to refill it because I want to use that Prera and really force myself to use it by not having this pen inked up. So I've just dipped the pen. So we've got here a Caveca Sport. Broad nib, 35 Aussie dollars. Cult pens. Deep, dark, green. I love the name of this ink. Deep, dark, green. Really evocative, isn't it? Let's look at drying times. There's immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Almost dry at 30 seconds. Now, two things to bear in mind. One, I've just dipped this, so it might be a little bit wetter than normal. The other one is the temperature. So it's middle of summer here in Australia. I mean, past few days, well, past couple of weeks, really, we've been getting temperatures in the high 30s, low 40s. Makes a massive difference to how the paper dries. So just be aware of that, that the ink may actually dry faster because of that. Let's write our sentence. I like the way this nib writes. It's smooth. You can get a little bit of feedback from it. Not very much tactile feedback. There's a little bit, but there's not a lot. I just think it feels really nice. Line variation, no pressure. With pressure, the line going across. And that's no pressure. With pressure, none. With, none. And with. The nib is fairly stiff. It's a fairly small nib anyway. Don't get much in the way of line variation. Flow. Yeah, 
you know it keeps up well i know i've dipped it it's not really a true test so this pen the Traveco Sport, that's now going to go into the pile to be cleaned out, maybe later on today. So that's the test with the Traveco Sport. Let's give the Pilot Pereira a, a go now. Again, I'm going to post it. Pocket pen works best posted. So we've got here a Pilot Pereira. I know it's not the same ink. It was last week or the week before where I said what I'm going to do is try and use the same ink. Obviously, because I didn't want to refill the spot this week, we don't have the same ink. This has got a medium nib. It's a steel nib, Japanese steel. 70 Australian dollars. Double the price. I've already said it. I can get two Kaveco Sports for the price of one of these. The ink is by Diamine. And it's Odenil or Odenil like the colour of this pen. It's a, like a blue colour, maybe hints of green in there. Being a transparent pen, works really well. Not a lot of ink left in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to fill it with next. I'll have to have a think. I might go for a red ink or maybe, you know, maybe go for the green. I don't know. We'll have to look at that when it happens. We're going to do our drying time. So immediate, 10 seconds. Almost dry at 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds, that's dry. I'm going to move the page just up a little bit. I'm going to write my sentence. When I first got this pen, I wasn't overly impressed. As I've used it more, it's grown on me. So this is the second fill of this pen. And it's nearly finished, as you can see. Really quite like it now. I like the way it writes. I like the feeling of writing. It's got a gorgeous feedback to it. If I was to make a complaint, very personal choice, I prefer a broader nib. Let's look at line variation. So no pressure. With pressure... Going across, you know, we're not seeing much. Don't expect it. It's a stiff nib. So there's none, with, none, with, none, and with. See a slightly wider down line, but you've got to really look to see it. And then flow. Yeah, that makes it all the way across, no problems. And I'm looking at this, the amount of ink that le that's left in there. Seeing as I'm going to be cleaning out the Kaveco Sport, I'm going to give this one a clean as well and then refill it. I actually may go for a little bit of a randomness to it. I've got a whole load of samples which I want to use up. I might just pick one from the box and fill it with whatever I pick. I'll see how I go with that. So that's the Pilot Prairie. So what are my thoughts about these pens? I'm not giving them stars, I'm just giving you my thoughts on them. I actually quite like them both. They both fit a specific niche, and that's in something I can carry around with me at all times in my cargo pants pocket. The Pereira, I need to spend more time doing that. Up till now, I've just been using the Sport. Now the Sport's empty, I've got an excuse to swap. I'm wondering with the Pereira, it's a bit bigger. Will that feel too bulky in my pocket? We'll see. This is an experiment I want to do. I like the Sport. It's $35. I've got a couple of these now. It's a pen. If I see a colour I like at $35, I've got no worries. I'm just going to get it. The Prera, more money. If I saw another colour, chances are I wouldn't get it. It would have to be something that jumps out, slaps me in the face and says, Gary, you've got to have this before I'd spend $70 on another Prera. If I was going to spend that $70, 
I'd buy a Twisby Diamond 580 or another pen in that range. I don't think I need the pocket pen at this price. Whereas with the Sport, I say $35, it's something I can easily justify having multiples of. I mean, one of the things I could maybe aim for is to get the Sport with one pen with each of the different nib sizes. That might be interesting to try. That's something to think about. But yeah, like them both, the Prera, I say, it's actually growing on me. And I've only been using it as a desk pen. And I've been finding it's getting quite nice. So yeah, I think, I say, once it's cleaned out, I'll fill it up again. And then that will be going in my pocket whenever I leave the house. So these, they're my thoughts on the Kaveco Sport with Cult Pen's Deep Dark Green and Pilot Pereira with Diamine Odinil. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got any small pens? Are they like pocket pens or are they a little bit bigger like the Pereira? I'd love to start getting people's opinions on these. What are your thoughts on these smaller pens? Do you find them useful or do you find them just too fiddly to use? Please drop your comments down below Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.